वेलकम टू समथिंग्स कुकिंग विद अल्पा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक तंदूरी रोटी राइट एट होम इन अ टोस्टर सो लेट्स लुक एट द इंग्रेडिएंट्स सो गाइस फॉर दिस रेसिपी यू आर गोइंग टू नीड 2 कप ऑफ व्हीट फ्लोर व्हिच इज गेहूं का आटा 2 टेबलस्पून ऑफ द घी और यू कैन कॉल इट कर्ड और योगर्ट 2 टीस्पून ऑफ ऑयल व्हिच इज tail a pinch of salt and 1 cup of milk now guys this is totally optional you can always replace the milk with water but with milk your rotis will become really nice and soft so now let's begin our process so now guys in a big bowl let's add all of the wheat flour a pinch of salt all of the curd which is yogurt and 2 teaspoon of oil and now let's mix everything in once all the ingredients are nicely mixed in you just press the dough and it should form into a fist shape that means we have the exact quantities the right quantities and now we will start adding little milk at a time just like how you add water while kneading a dough that is exactly how you will be just replacing water with milk and guys you see nice and soft dough guys i ended up using about 3/4 cup of milk to knead this dough and now we are going to cover it up and keep it aside for the next 15 minutes and guys if you do like my recipe please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to be first to watch my future videos and it's free so why wait and now let's proceed so after 15 minutes guys let's remove the lid and let's refresh the dough by kneading it again for just about a minute and i wish you guys were here to feel this dough because it is like makhan like butter nice and soft and smooth and now guys i'm going to take a small amount of this dough in my hand and make a round ball guys remember not to take a lot of dough or don't make a very big roti because we need for it to fit inside the toaster so just the size of the bread That's the size of the roti that we are going to make. So now guys, I'm going to keep this aside and dip my round ball or disc in dry flour. And now we are going to roll it into a roti, almost the size of a bread, not too big. And perfect. This is the size that you want to go with. and see guys this is the thickness that i'm going with it's not too thick it's not too thin it's just perfect and i'm going to make one more roti so guys now both my rotis are now rolled in and it's time for me to start roasting them so first we are going to start roasting them on a tawa so guys now on a griddle or tawa i'm going to land the roti and we are going to cook it half way Once you start seeing the spots then we are going to flip the roti. Guys always make sure that your flame is on low so that you don't end up burning out the roti or overcooking the roti. And now let's just turn our roti upside down. It's changed the color. It's now become a little whitish and that is exactly how you want it. Okay. So now it's we have we do you see these spots? So now guys it's time for us to flip the roti and then remove it. Okay. So let's remove it and now let's cook the other roti the same way. So now guys we have both our rotis halfway roasted and now it's time for us to put them in the bread toaster. So guys now the rotis are ready so one by one let's remove them out oh look at that it's looking really amazing yummy and now guys let's apply a little bit of butter and you can always apply ghee if you wish or you could just have it without ghee or butter but i personally prefer it with some butter and this is it this will taste 
very much like the roti that you get in the restaurants the tandoori roti that you get in the restaurants i'm telling you guys it is just absolutely phenomenal people in the house they're going to be so proud of you just look at it it's looking absolutely yummy just absolutely yummy isn't it and with saying that i am digging in it's nice and hot mm really restaurant kind mm so guys the curd and the milk has done its trick and made the tandoori roti nice and soft from inside and it's nice the texture is really amazing and nobody will be able to tell that you made it in a toaster also guys when you having guests then you can just make the halfway cooked rotis and then take the half weight cooked rotis along with the toaster sit on the dining table and serve your guests nice hot rotis isn't that a good idea also guys you can make this roti with your regular roti atta as well so you don't really need to have that milk and curd it does definitely add to the taste and the texture but if you have the regular atta you can still make this tandoori roti what i generally do is when my husband is traveling going out of india for a few weeks or a month i cook these rotis without the curd and the milk and cook them about 90 to 95 percent pack them and give it to him for freezing so whenever he wants to eat he removes it from the freezer pops them in the toaster and bam he has homemade tandoori roti anywhere in the world isn't that a great idea you can also do it at work so you can take the half cooked rotis take it to your work put them in the toaster and bam you again got like nice hot tandoori rotis so hi guys i hope you enjoyed spending time with me enjoyed the recipe enjoyed the tips and if you did then don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then click on these links because these are links which you don't want to miss and i will see you very very soon meanwhile you take care